Road to GH will reveal gripping developments on Friday, November 22, 2024. First, Ava is consumed by relentless anxiety, acutely aware that the lawsuit with Christina and Molly is pushing her into a precarious position. The allegations of killing Christina's unborn child are not only a legal threat but also a shadow hanging heavily over her honor and future. She did commit the act, but admitting it is not an option. Ava needs an escape, regardless of the means. There is no room for weakness or remorse, she focuses all her thoughts on finding ways to dismantle the accusations. An unfavorable witness, a piece of ambiguous evidence, or a flaw in the opposing strategy, anything could become the key to securing her freedom. For Ava, survival is not about seeking justice, but concealing the truth and protecting herself at all costs. Second, Molly feels burdened as she delivers new information to Christina. Ava, not content with merely covering up her cruel actions, has taken a bolder step, hiring Rick as her defense attorney. Rick's name sends ripples through the legal world, a man capable of turning tides with sharp arguments and sophisticated strategies. This news hits Christina like a hammer blow. While the truth is on her side, Rick can easily twist it to benefit his client. The death of Christina's unborn child, a painful and undeniable tragedy, now risks becoming a blurred piece of the justice puzzle. Within Molly, a sense of unease grows as she contemplates the days ahead. Rick is not just a lawyer, he's a master manipulator ready to exploit any loophole to turn the case around. Christina now faces not only Ava, but also someone who can transform every disadvantage into a counterattack. What they are up against is no longer a simple lawsuit, but a fierce battle where the advantage has tipped entirely in favor of their opponent. Third, Stella senses the tension in TJ's gaze whenever Molly is mentioned. She understands that their relationship has grown distant, but also knows that, deep down, TJ still cares for Molly more than he shows. Molly is enduring the pain of losing a child, a sorrow that words cannot fully capture. It forces her to wrestle not only with her emotions, but also to bear the legal battle for justice alone. Stella advises TJ to break through the silence that has become a barrier between them. Molly does not need pity, she needs a companion, someone who understands and supports her. TJ may not be able to change what happened, but being by her side in her most difficult time might be the way to mend their bond. Though the path ahead is not easy, Stella believes that a little empathy and genuine action from TJ could help Molly feel less alone in her pain. Next, Sasha feels the weight of the air around her during the Easter gathering, as unkind whispers about her and Cody inadvertently reach her ears. The judgmental glances and hushed gossip, though not directly voiced, are enough to make her feel as though the world is passing judgment on her. The familiar loneliness creeps back, isolating her from the warmth of the celebration. However, Mac and Felicia, noticing the unease in Sasha's expression, step forward to support her. They refuse to let the rumors inflict further harm and defend her openly and convincingly, dispelling the baseless judgments. They then spend time talking with Sasha, offering her understanding and compassion. Their words of encouragement bring a glimmer of light into Sasha's emotional darkness. She no longer feels completely alone in facing everything. The warmth and humanity they show not only help her overcome the moment, but also give her strength to confront the challenges ahead. Though Sasha speaks little, her softened gaze silently conveys her gratitude to the two who stood by her. Finally, Jason feels a heavy heart whenever he thinks of Sam and the void she has left in his and Danny's lives. The loss is not just his personal grief, but also a reality Danny, too young to fully grasp, must face. Jason knows Danny needs him more than ever, but parenting under these circumstances leaves him worried. He agonizes over whether he can be a good enough father to fill the gap left by Sam and help Danny grow up strong. Seeking Dante's advice, Jason hopes to find clarity. Dante's insights help Jason see the situation not only from the perspective of responsibility, but also through the lens of connection with Danny. Jason realizes he cannot replace Sam or erase the loss from his son's life. But he can be present, a pillar of emotional support, and do everything possible to ensure Danny feels loved and secure.